people we welcome you again to our Sabbath school channel we thank God for this opportunity that he has given to us to share our Sabbath school lesson lesson 4 of the fourth quarter that is titled the eyes of the Lord the biblical worldview today we are coming to discuss the Sabbath afternoon and also the Sundays and our memory test is taken from Proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 and I read the eyes of the Lord are in every place keeping watch on evil and then the good now the world view about everything what is the world view about our education now we believe that in years past world educated people were seeing that the earth was just a flat sitting somewhere but now we've got to know that the earth is fairly kind and it revolves and around the sun now at the same time in our present day today people are also saying that the human beings are just created out of evolution but what is the what is the biblical worldview? Now the Sabbath school is saying that we are not supposed to have we are not supposed to have a neutral point, but at least Christian is supposed to have a biblical worldview, and then that worldview should be filtered in such a way that when we put it on what Christ is asking us to do, it can really um, filter world, and then that is a, a biblical worldview that we are looking for. Now when we look at the Sunday lesson, the caption is the eyes of the Lord. Now a story is told of. Um, and also the university professor that asked the question what about if all these things are not real now this question two profound theories are can be made out of this question one is it possible that this whole world there is nothing there is no god there is nothing that came into be there is no divine beings and then we are all just chances that we keep or can we also say that there is a god the created being who came who created us in his own image and then he has his preset and code that as human beings you are supposed to follow. Now, when we read our Bible from Psalm 53 verse 1, and I read, the Bible says that the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have done an abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. Now, this is telling us that it is only a fool that will say that there is no God. It means that in the central to Christian education, as the Sabbath school is telling us, the reality is that there is God, and it was God that created the heavens and the earth and everything that is in it. And so all the miracles and all those things that we know today is a divine being that created the heavens and earth within the six literal days that seven day Adventists we know. And so this should be the important or the centrality of our education when you talk about the biblical worldview of our creation. And then in the eyes of the Lord, it was a supreme being that created the whole universe, not just everything came into void as the atheistic or the worldwide view view um, what creation of the world is supposed to be. Central to any Christian education is a reality, not just of God, but of a kind of God that he is, a personal God who loves us and who interacts with us. This is a God of miracle, the God who made this world with rules and precepts, but it's the same God who is not bounded by this law. And so when you take the example from the Bible, that before a child can be born, there must be the fusion of a male and female and uh, sperms and yagos before we can have a baby. But now this same God uh, made a Virgin Mary to give birth to Jesus Christ. And so he's a God who created these rules, but he's not bounded by these rules. So the teaching of the world is pertinent to what they view the world. But as Christian, the teaching of the Bible should be based on what Christ is telling us, or based on the view that Christ is giving to us. Think about how narrow and how limited the atheists believe about the creation of the world is. And then think about how the biblical view of how God created the whole universe and then put it into perspective and really see um, as Christians what is really true and then what is really lies. We thank you very much for listening to this summary. We ask that you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you'll be listening to more and more of this summary. Thank you.